Namaste, I am Krishna Tanya Mandela, your EV bro. Right now, I am here at the LFP battery pack manufacturing unit. To be specific, LFP inverter manufacturing plant, Terra Nova company. It is situated in Andhra Pradesh. I am here with the technical head, Mr. Ensign. Sir, could you please explain about uh, Terra Nova? Hi. So, actually, we are a manufacturer of uh, lithium battery packs as well as lithium inverters for various purposes, like from 800 VA to 75 kVA, offline, online and up to 10 kilowatt, 10 kVA uh, solar PCU we have and uh, we are also doing several battery packs as well uh, like in uh, BESS, solar battery packs and uh, some several solar applications mm. and MHE uh, that is material handling equipment battery packs and uh, telecom tower battery packs like that. So actually this is our factory and this is the production uh, where it is happening. So, shall we start with the production pro, uh, yes. process? So, firstly, you are offering the LFP battery pack inverters. So, usually, it's been a old technology, the lead acid battery pack inverters. Mm. So, wh why you are entering into the LFP battery pack inverters and what's so special about it? Yes, actually, uh, the lead acid battery was there last, like, not, not, uh, it's more than 40 years, it is there. But, uh, the time is changing and we are getting new technologies, advanced mm. technologies. It's, uh, if you are comparing with the lead acid battery and the lithium batteries, actually, uh, as a technical person, there is no comparison. Mm. Because uh, it's far advanced, mm. weight-wise, size-wise, efficiency-wise, mm. even uh, in the safety-wise also. Mm. LFP battery, lithium ferrophosphate battery, is the safest battery mm. till this date. Mm. And it is the greenest battery that we have available in the mm. market. So, this is the, I mean, these are the advantages. Actually, that is the reason we needed to okay. give. So, these are the advantages and that's the reason we have started this uh, uh, factory also. Now, explain about your process. Sir. So, actually, uh, we have a very delicate and very, you know, um, cautious process because each and every battery pack is supposed to work more than 10 plus years. Mm. So, uh, you can see here, a lot of machineries are here mm. and in these machineries, half of them, more than half of them are only for the quality checking purpose mm. because after manufacturing the battery if anything happening we have to remove mm. so before that we will eliminate all the bad cells mm. so a cell uh, what i'm saying the cell is the major raw material ma uh, major raw material in a battery pack and after that bms will come bms is a battery management system so actually this is, uh, that is electronic circuit actually we have uh, why we are using it for the uh, you know, some cautious like over voltage protection, under voltage protection, over current protection mm. and short circuit protection, lower and higher temperature protection like that and mm. uh, it will also balance the cells. Okay. So, uh, for that also we are using, all, in all battery pack we will use the BMS as well. Mm. So, uh, first I will tell you, first uh, whenever the cell is coming, mm. so the process of IQC is starting, in, uh, incoming quality checking. Okay. From there, uh, the first checking is that we will check physically mm. any damage in the cells mm. while transporting abroad we are uh, exporting the cells mm. so on the second we will check the physical test like any bent or mm. any dent or any smell any leakage something like that mm. so that is a pre preliminary test if anything uh, it is showing bad we will re reject uh, at that time itself okay and after that we will go for the capacity testing mm. so we will do the capacity testing we have very big missionaries 512 channels missionary we have for mm. the cylindrical uh, cylindrical cells and we will do the capacity testing two three cycles we have to do mm. then uh, from there itself we will segregate the cells mm. like if it is 6 hl 5.9 to 6 6 to 6 6.1 6 6.1 to 6.2 like that we will segregate mm. and after that segregation we will go for our uh, we have automatic voltage and IR segregating machine. Okay. So, it is a robotic helped machine. Mm. So, it will automatically check the voltage, internal resistance and it will segregate. We okay. can give the program by mm. as per our thing. That will vary regarding the each and every battery pack. Mm. Each and every application, each and every battery pack, each and every... So, there are so many other parameters we have to consider for the segregation. Mm. Finally, we will get the cells, uh, the segregated cells and uh, if there is any rejection, we will reject. But we are not getting that much rejection because we are getting very good cells. Mm. So after that, we will arrange the cells as per that battery packs. What are, what are the battery pack we are going to manufacture mm. in holders? Uh, we are using uh, ABS holders mm. for uh, just for the structural structural uh, ability, structural strength. Mm. Then we will uh, use our manual welding machine for the welding purpose and the laser welding machine for the for other purpose, other applications. Mm. And after welding. 
we will go for the bms wiring mm. so for the bms also we have a particular machine mm. which will check the bms parameters mm. is this particular bms is in the range mm. our range okay and if it is not okay we will reject from there itself mm. otherwise uh, we will take it inside and uh, we can test up to 120s uh, bms tester and 100 amps we have we can test okay then we will start doing the wiring mm. then it is going through the final process mm. wiring and packing and we will finish the battery packs mm. and we will test the battery pack okay a one time capacity testing completed with the cells but mm. we will test for the battery pack it's as well okay and we will do that and the battery pack is ready for the mm. dispatch so this is the process actually okay. for the production then these are your products this is one of the product but this is our prime product mm. so this is a wall mountable inverter and this is a 1000 va model and this is a 800 va model mm. uh, this battery includes a 1.3 kilowatt battery pack and this one is having 1 kilowatt battery pack mm. so this model is equivalent to the 150h battery pack lead acid normal normal one mm. so you can see it's very small mm -hmm. and it is wall mounting so the major thing is that major concern what we are uh, you know just uh, putting towards this is a fit and forget you mm. can just install and you can forget that mm. it will work up to 10 years without okay. doing anything there is mm. no maintenance mm. uh, like uh, lead acid battery you have to every 3 4 months you have to fill the distilled water and everything mm. you have to be careful so in lithium battery there is nothing like that mm. and also it is uh, there is no health hazard mm. in lead acid battery the fumes will come from the ventilation mm. from the lead acid battery for some persons it will be uh, it will cause some health issues mm. Okay, so there are so many health issues, but not for everyone. But it is there. Okay. But as per our lithium ferrophosphate battery, LFP battery, there is no such kind of thing. Mm. So this is one of safest and greenest. Okay. The green in the sense, you can even throw out the battery mm. to the soil. Does it require any maintenance? No, nothing. You don't have to do anything. Okay. Yes. What is the cost of this? So. Uh, This one actually we are calling it as T one one five zero Gen one mm. with the inbuilt lithium battery pack. Okay. The cost of this MRP is forty two thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, mm. and this we are calling it as T thousand Gen one mm. lithium inbuilt bat uh, inbuilt lithium battery. Okay. So the cost of this is thirty eight thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. This can load up to six fifty watts, and this can load up to eight hundred watts. Mm. So normal home purpose, you uh, this is fine. For one BHK, two BHK purpose. Mm. If you want more, uh, if you want a lot more, and if you want a little more, uh, one or two hour extra backup, you can go for this one. Okay. Yes. So, how much warranty you are offering on this? So, one? five years on the battery, two years on the inverter board. Okay. Yes. So, the transformer will be like ten years. It will be it's standard without any time. Yes. So, actually, in our product range, uh, this is one of the cheapest model. Okay. So, this is a thousand VA lithium inverter mm. for the home purpose, and this is eight hundred VA. Mm. So this is a pure uh, copper transformer using. So that's the reason this inverter is very small. You can see, mm. and the efficiency is also high. It's more than eighty percentage the mm. efficiency mm. of the inverter. Okay. So this is the external battery. So the battery will be external. Mm. So you have to use external battery. But the price is uh, very cheap comparing with our wall mountable inverter. So if you, what yes. is the price? So for the thousand VA, it will be thirty-one thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. For the 800 VA, it will be 28,999. Okay. So this is one of the you know competitive price for mm. the lithium batteries. Same warranty on this also. Five yes. Years. Five years on the battery packs, two years on the inverter. Okay. Yes. This is one of our signature product. So this is a 12 volt 6 AH computer UPS battery pack. Mm. So if you have a computer, mm. a desktop computer, a 53 normal computer. Of course, you should have a computer UPS. Mm. So normally, every computer UPS is using a VRLA battery. Mm. That's a some kind of a lead acid battery, but it's a uh, VRLA. We will say. Mm. So the problem with that battery is it's cheap, but the problem it will give only 10 or 15 minutes backup, and it will die in six months. Mm. So if you you if you if you are using Terra Nova lithium 12 volt 6 AH battery pack, mm. you will get more than 45 minutes backup, mm. and the lifetime will be two years and plus. Okay. You will get the warranty of one year. Mm. So this is very, I think it's very suitable for your uh, computer. So this is uh, uh, some sample sample battery packs for our solar street light applications. Mm. So if you have a street light and you can, uh, of course you are using lead acid batteries. The thing is that the lead acid battery will be uh, two or three times size mm. if you are comparing with this battery and the weight also 
two or three times okay so you, of course you know it is a solar street light means it will be mounting on a pole mm. so if you if you can use a smaller one weightless mm. and more uh, more backup as well as more uh, life mm. so you have to go with that so we are offering that solution also so this is a 12 volt uh, 18 ah and 12 volt 12 ah battery so this is a sample we can go up to 12 volt 100 ah and as for your requirement we have a, a product up to 12 volt 100 ah particularly for the um solar strike that application so that's the complete details about lfp battery manufacturer and also they are doing lfp inverters also so they are offering very budget friendly battery packs starting from the ranging for a computer ups also and from the ranging of home ups also so the speciality of the product is a wall mounted uh, lfp inverter battery pack and uh, they, they are offering 5 years of warranty on it anybody interested to buy these products will provide the contact details in the screen and also in the description below If you like this video please like share and subscribe to EV Bro charge the nature drive the future